OK, welcome. So this one gets a lot of students. We have 6i divided by 3 minus i. And we talked about, all right, I understand maybe that I cannot multiply by i, but I need to multiply by the conjugate. But I have a little issue with you know, what exactly is the conjugate. Well, if you think about it, conjugate is going to be the exact product that's going to give us the difference of two squares, or our product of our uh, special products. So if I have a plus bi, I want to multiply it by a minus bi. But you look at this and you say, well, I already have 3 minus i. So then what do I need to do? Well, the conjugate is going to be the exact same value, just with the opposite sign. All right. So now you can see when I multiply these, I will have a difference of two squares. And that's going to be exactly what I'll need to now eliminate my i. But remember, whatever I do in denominator, I have to make sure I do in my numerator. All right. So in my numerator, you can see that now I have distributive property. And here, I'll just use the difference of two squares. Remember, the difference of two squares is my middle terms are going to um, add, add to 0. So therefore, I can just multiply the first two terms and the last two terms. So by applying distributive top property up top, I have 18i plus 6i squared. And then in my denominator, I have 9 minus i squared. All right? All right. So now what I like to do is I just like to rewrite all my i squareds for negative 1. And I don't like to do this all to, uh, at the same time um, as I do in my other products, because I just notice a lot of times I'll make a mistake and I'll see a lot of students make mistakes. So I don't have a problem writing i squared and then rewriting them as negative 1. Because now I can see this is going to be 18i plus 6 times negative 1. So that's going to be 18 minus 18i minus 6. And then over here, I'll have 9 minus a negative 1, which becomes 10. Then I just rewrite this in a plus bi format. So that's a negative 6 over 10 plus 18i over 10. right? Because you want to make sure you always write it in a plus bi format. So you take your denominator and divide it into both terms of your binomial. Now, in this case, we can actually simplify this. I can say, what two terms, you know, how, how, can I re, how can I simplify 6 and 10? What values can I divide out? Well, you can see they both share a 2. So if I was to um, divide out a 2, I'd be left with a negative 3 fifths plus, And then here, I can do the exact same thing. Multiply out a uh, 2, and I'll be left with a 9 fifths. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your simplified answer when dividing complex numbers. Thanks.